हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज सोनाली चोपड़ा वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड The relations between neighboring countries in different corners of the world have been a challenging issue for centuries. Be it border dispute, distribution of water resources, or political and economic differences, all these reasons give rise to mutual bitterness. The scope of relations between neighboring countries may be limited by geographical boundaries, but the depth of their relations is entangled in the complexity of international politics and diplomacy. Similar relations full of ups and downs are being seen between India's neighboring countries China and Taiwan. In fact, recently William Lai took oath as the new president of Taiwan. Only after taking oath, William Lai showed his tough attitude to China, while China responded by conducting military exercises near Taiwan Islands. This silent conflict is increasing with time. In such a situation, the question arises that what is the meaning of the deteriorating relations between china and taiwan why is this small island group so important in global geopolitics along with this what impact will this taiwan china relations have on india in today's episode we will discuss these questions located about 161 kilometers off the southeastern coast of china this island is situated between the south china sea east china sea and the philippine sea which makes it a major place from an economic and strategic point of view it is worth mentioning that william lai has been elected the president here if experts are to be believed many changes are being speculated to take place after the change of power in taiwan in this context if we look at the ups and downs between china and taiwan it can be seen that china is taiwan's biggest threat but at the same time it is also its biggest trading partner At present the onus is on Taiwan to improve relations with China that is the top agenda of whoever rules the reason behind this is the deteriorating economic condition of Taiwan at present in such a situation if we look into the depth of the history of relations between the two countries we come to know that this island first came under the control of the Chinese empire in the 17th century The island became a Japanese colony in 1895 after the Qing Empire's defeat in the Sino-Japanese War. After Japan's defeat in World War II in 1945, China recaptured it. At that time, Taiwan had a nationalist government led by General Chiang Kai-shek. Over time, conflict between Chiang's forces and Mao Zedong's Communist Party escalated and the communist won in 1949. Chiang and the remnants of his nationalist party fled to Taiwan and ruled there for several decades. Although China considers it as its part, Taiwan considers itself independent. It is worth noting here that Taiwan presents itself as an independent country under which there is a democratic governance system, but Taiwan has never officially declared itself an independent nation. This is why China claims its rights here. In fact, Taiwan's geographical location and its economy give it a distinct identity at the global level. The chips used in the electronic devices we use every day are made in Taiwan only. According to a report, Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company alone has captured more than half of the world's chip market. In such a situation, if China captures this island, it will get free reign to demonstrate its power in the Western Pacific region and compete with America. At the same time Beijing will also have control over the industries that drive the global economy. However, regarding Taiwan, China often claims that its intentions are peaceful and accuses the US of encircling it military bases spanning from Australia to Japan. Talking about India's relations with China Taiwan, the truth of the relationship between China and India is not hidden from anyone and India Taiwan relations have seen a rise in the last few years. In fact India's closeness with Taiwan is in its own interest. This is because about 55% of India's trade with the Indo-Pacific region passes through the waters of the South China Sea. In fact, the economic prosperity of the region and India's own interest here depend on a stable maritime order which requires that the sea lanes be kept open. In this direction India is emphasizing on a rules-based system in the Indo-Pacific region by maintaining the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Along with the diplomatic level, there was also an increase in economic relations between the two. 
According to statistics, trade was 1.19 billion US dollars in the year 2001, which has increased to 8.45 billion US dollars in the year 2022. Along with this, many agreements have been signed to continuously increase cooperation in various fields, investment and economic cooperation. Bilateral relations between India and Taiwan in the field of science and technology began in 2018 when the Taipei Economic and Cultural Centre in India and India Taipei Association signed an MOU for cooperation in the field of science and technology. However, despite its strengthening relations with Taiwan, India has not yet openly supported Taiwan as a country. The reason for this is that one China policy is a sensitive and complex issue in international relations. Due to this policy, many countries do not openly support Taiwan. To put the China-Taiwan relationship in simple words, despite close economic relations with China, Taiwan does not shy away from claiming its rights and despite facing all the opposition, China also stands with Taiwan in pursuing its interest. Now it's time for this program's Sunday special edition, The World in Front of Me, where we will discuss other important international news. There are new developments every day in the Russia-Ukraine war. In this context, Russia recently started a round of exercises related to nuclear weapons. This is the first time Russia has publicly announced an exercise related to strategic nuclear weapons. Although its strategic nuclear forces regularly conduct exercises, such public announcements had never been made before. Venezuela has become the first country in the world where all glaciers have disappeared due to climate change. The remaining glacier Humboldt has significantly shrunk and is now reclassified as a regular ice field. Previously, Venezuela had six glaciers in the Sierra Nevada de Merida mountain range, all located in the Andes at an altitude of about 5,000 meters above sea level. Notably, there has been a significant increase in the temperature of the Andes mountains, accelerating the melting of glaciers. The leaders of South Korea, China and Japan will meet in Seoul in the last week of May for their first trilateral talks since 2019. According to reports, there will be a trilateral summit in the Seoul between South Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol, Chinese Premier Lee Kwiang and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. It is noteworthy that since their first standalone trilateral summit in 2008, the three Asian countries were supposed to hold such meetings between their leaders every year. However, the summit has been postponed since it was last held in China in December 2019. So viewers, we stop the discussion here and note today's question. What impact will China-Taiwan relations have on global politics? Discuss. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.